Okay guys, we are gonna make these beautiful pieces that I purchased when I did my last video for my Valentine's Dollar Tree haul. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And this is part two of my Valentine's haul at the Dollar Tree. We are going to piece together some of the items that I'm going to use on my Valentine's For this video, um, the supplies that you'll need is I have four wine glasses, three candlestick holders, and they're all, they're different sizes. So we have small, medium, tall. I have these gel floral gel beads that I got from the Dollar Tree. I have two. I'm not really sure how much I'll need, but I have two of these. I have three mini fish bowls, also from the Dollar Tree. Sorry for the banging. I have some Mod Podge from the Dollar Tree. Three silver napkin ring holders that I had in my winter tablescape. I have some red flowers. These look like carnations and I'm not sure what these are, but they're red. I have some glitter shake. Now I didn't get this from the Dollar Tree. I actually got this from AC Moore using my 50% um, coupon. So I got that from AC Moore. I have some red ribbon that actually, I believe I got this from AC Moore for a dollar, so I still paid a dollar. And then I also have my trusty, very working hard glue gun. For our first DIY project, I am going to embellish these plastic silver napkin rings. Okay, so what I have here is just a bunch of flowers, the four napkin rings, a pair of scissors, and my glue gun. Please remember that these are hot, so keep them out of the way of little children that we love. Okay, so what I did was I pulled one of the petals off of the stem, and I'm just going to put a dab of glue onto... the center and remember this dries quickly so you got to move quick give it a nice little press and voila so now you have an embellished napkin ring and these have a lot of glitter on it so the bottom here has like a little nub not sure if you can see that there's a little nub that I am going to cut off with a pair of scissors and I'm trying to cut it as low as I can get it So that I could use it to place them. There we have our embellished napkin rings. And once that dries, I'll play with the petals a little bit more. Stick holders, I'm actually going to, I'm gonna mod podge these two. I was gonna bling them out, but um, so this is the top of my candlestick holder. And all I did was took the mod podge and just paint it around okay and as I've learned already you don't want too much of it and then I just took the glitter oops I don't want the glitter on the brush 
and I'm just shaking the glitter all around. Now for the candlestick holders, I did not put the glitter on the bottom. I'm just shaking it just like a salt shaker. I'll let this dry and then I'll do another coat, but not for the sake of the video. Now I'm gonna show you what I am doing with these. So that's what the mini bowls are for. And so I am just going to grab a glue stick. And then just generously put some glue around the edge. And then center my bowl. That was a little difficult. And this stuff dries really, really fast. So you have to be really, really quick and try to get that placement like quick as jacks. And just hold it down for a few. And these here are going inside of my mini fish bowl. And then next, I'm just going to drop a flower in it. So they, a lot of times they come bent up. So you just gotta play with them a little bit to get where, and, and these have glitter. So I'm like the glitter lady today and they're getting all over my work board. And there you have it. Now we're on to our next project, project number three. Here, wine glass. So I have a plate for my Hodge Podge. And then a separate one that'll capture the glitter. And I have my paintbrush. And so what I'm going to do is just modge podge the bottom. Make sure everything is open here. Nope, wasn't. I'm gonna modge podge the bottom stem. And then I will start to put some glitter. For the glasses, I just painted the bottom and like the sides of the bottom, like the bottom tip, so that I could get glitter down there as well. And I just did a little section at a time. As you can see, I have a rubber band. I'm only gonna do the lower half. My rubber band is crooked, but I'm actually okay with that for right now. And I did use painter's tape to help um, 
help to keep the Mod Podge and the glitter from going down the stem. But for right now, it's okay. There's a lot of shaking going on here. As you can see, I'm actually all around it already. And then once this dries, so now I'm just rotating so that it can catch any loose glue ends. But once this dries, I will do a little Mod Podge again. And I'm just getting off the excess. I will do a light sweep of the Mod Podge and give it another coat. Okay guys, so I let this sit overnight because when I started this project, um, I started it late at night. So um, I have removed the rubber bands off of the other glasses and then I am going to put some red ribbon around it to make a bow. Glue this around the glass and then attach a bow to the actual ribbon. So maybe I'll do that. I'll just I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue. And it dries fast, so you have to move quickly. Hopefully you can see this. I put a little dab of glue there. And I'm just going to wrap this around the glass. And it actually slid on me. So just put another dab of glue on that edge so I could just wrap around. And then I'm actually gonna cut it. And then I'm going to actually do my bow and glue the bow to this to this ribbon. And I can't show you what I'm doing with the glue because I just realized that my plug for the glue is actually tangled around the tripod. So this is gonna be hidden. This is gonna be hidden. And now I'm going to take a nice long piece to make the bow. Hopefully you can see this bow being made. And then I'm going to glue my bow right on top. So right where I close up the twisted um, ribbon, 
that is where I put the glue to attach the bow. And I'm gonna do that for all of my glasses. So this glass is pretty much finished. Then the last thing I'm gonna do is heart picks and I am just gonna fill them up in this vase and it will be my centerpiece. Or you could just pop them off. I think you can pop them off. Yeah. I'm gonna keep these. I never know, you never know what you'll need extras for. And that is it for the prep video. So those are the four things that I needed to prep in order to do my tablescape. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go and show me a little love. Also remember to share with your family and friends and if you do a similar creation please post on Instagram and tag Zarya's Creations.